This is the ultimate stretch resolution guide that'll get you the old stretch dress we all miss and love. By using one of these three methods on screen, after you'll benefit from having higher FPS, which lowers your input delay, and getting bigger player models, which improves your aim. These on screen are the most commonly used stretch resolutions right now, but if you've got a low end PC, to get 40% more FPS, you can try 1024 by 768, 1280 by 1080 or even 1550 by 1070 and if you've got a medium NPC and you want 33% more FPS you can try 1680 by 1080 or 1656 by 1080 and if you've got a high-end PC and want 12% more FPS you can try 1811 by 1080 or 1750 by 1080 so if the video helps please drop a like and subscribe to the channel now it's essential to start off with method one firstly on your Windows desktop you want to press the Windows key and R at the same time. Inside the run box, type in percentage sign local update a percentage sign, then press F and find the Fortnite game, then click on save, then config, then Windows client, and here is your game config or also known as game user settings. Now firstly, before opening it, you want to right click on it and click properties and make sure you uncheck the read only box. It needs to be unchecked at this current time. Click apply, then OK. Then we can go ahead and open it up. Inside here, you want to scroll down to near the bottom where you should see a couple of important commands. Uh, the first four are these ones right here, and then the second four are these ones. For the first four right here, that's the resolution size. You want to go ahead and change this to your desired stretch res. I'm going to go with the popular 1680 by 1080. So I'll firstly change the X on both. That's resolution size and last confirm. Then I'll scroll down slightly and where it says desired, you want to change that also as well as the last confirmed desired too. And once you've done that, you can click file and then save. Then don't forget to go back onto your game user settings file, right click on it, head into properties. And now we're going to go ahead and click the read only box, apply and OK. The reason we're doing this is so that Fortnite doesn't automatically reset it back to the default res, which it will do if this is unchecked. So make sure it's checked when you're using stretch res. Moving on to method two, that's GPU scaling. On your desktop, you want to right click on it and open up your and video control panel. If you don't have it, you can go into the Microsoft Store and you'll see the control panel here. Just open it up from there. Inside, you want to go under display where it says change resolution. Then you want to click on your main game and monitor. You want to make sure you've got the highest refresh rate or are using that. Then you want to click on 1920 by 1080, the native one, and then select customize. A customize box will appear. Please ensure that you've got the enabled resolutions not exposed by display ticked. This is important. Then you can click on change custom resolution. And inside here is where you're going to add your custom res. So like before, I myself am using 1680 by 1080, so I'm going to put it in here. But you can use whatever stretch res you like. Then simply click test. A black screen will appear. Don't panic if it does. After, it'll ask if you want to save the resolution and click yes. Another black screen may appear, don't worry, you'll see after it shows the resolution, then press OK. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click apply and actually use this stretched res. Your screen may go black, yet again, don't panic. Um, to get back onto 1920 by 1080 on your desktop, you just have to select the native resolution, click apply. And once you've done that, you want to head over to display, adjust desktop size and position. And under the adjust desktop size and position, you want to click your main monitor and make sure you're using full screen to prevent any sort of black bars. In addition to that, you also want to perform scaling on GPU. And this is really important. You also want to tick the override the scaling mode set by games and programs. And now when you go ahead and launch the game, you will have a stretched resolution. As you can see, as soon as you go into a game, there it is. Moving on, finally, we've got method number three, display scaling. To begin with, you want to find your config or game user settings file. You want to right click on it and then enter the properties. And inside here, make sure the read only box is unchecked, then click apply and OK. After you open up your config, you want to scroll down to the resolution sections. There'll be the first section right here and then the second section right here. You want to ensure that both of these have your native resolution in them and not a stretched res. So either 1920 by 1080 or whatever your native resolution is. Ensure that's the case for both of them. After that, you want to enter your NVIDIA control panel. Firstly, under change resolution, then select your main game and monitor. And inside this resolution box right here, scroll down to find your native resolution. Then click on the customize button. Then inside here, simply remove any stretched resolutions that you've got going on. So I'm going to go 
ahead and delete this one right here. Once you've done that, you want to uncheck enable resolutions not exposed by the display, uncheck that and then press OK. And then you should be left with your native resolution. From there, you can go to adjust desktop size and position. Then inside here, ensure that your main gaming monitor is selected. Then make sure you're using full screen. And finally, under perform scaling on, you want to change this from the GPU to display as we're going to be display scaling. Then finally click apply. Next, you want to Google custom resolution utility. Then the first link should be from monitortest.com. And then inside you will see the download links. I like to download the first one. And after you have unzipped it, you'll see there's an application that you can open. Once you've opened the application, you want to head to the top drop down and make sure your main monitor is selected. It should be in brackets active. After that, you want to go to the left hand side and go down to where it says none. Click that button and it'll deselect all of these, which is what we want. From there, you can go under extension blocks, click on the first one here, then click edit. Then under detailed resolutions, you want to find the one with the highest refresh rate. Mine is the bottom one right here and then double click on it. Then inside here, you want to click on that copy button right there. You can then close this down and from there, you can then actually delete all of these and then press OK. Once you've done that, under the standard resolutions, you may have a ton of random resolutions in here. Some of you may not and that's absolutely fine, but if like myself, you do, you want to go ahead and delete all of those and from there at the top as well there might be the same sort of thing in my case i've only got one you want to go ahead and delete all of these in the detailed resolution box which will give you a clear top box and then a clear middle box from there though under the standard resolution to middle box you want to click on add and then inside the resolution drop down you want to go ahead and add 1920 by 1080 or your native resolution then press ok and from there under detailed resolutions you want to click on add and inside here is where we're going to put our custom resolution but first it's really important that you paste what we copied earlier so just click paste firstly then we can go ahead and add our custom resolution and i myself i'm going to use 1680 by 1080 so i don't need to change the vertical once you've done that and everything is looking good you then can press ok and as you can see we've got our custom resolution we've got our standard resolution and then we've got the extension block now some people like to delete everything in the extension block but i like to leave it just as is and from there we can literally just press ok after doing that a lot of people like to restart their pc via the application itself via clicking one of these or via literally just restarting in windows but i want to warn you guys after you restart if there's any sort of issues you should refer to this guide that i'll have in the description of this video that can help you if you get any sort of black screen issues or anything like that in addition though i'll also show you how to revert all of this at the end which can also help you and after you have restarted your computer you may not notice that you're in 60 hertz now don't panic that's fine because what we want to do is right click on our desktop we want to go into our display settings then scroll down to where it says advanced display then at the top make sure your main gaming monitor is selected and then you should see two different modes here your desktop mode and your active signal mode now from here guys you want to click on your display adapter properties then in here click on list all modes and if you scroll down to the very bottom you should see your brand new resolution which mine like I customized earlier in the CRU is 1680 by 1080 just select that then press apply your screen may go black don't panic but once we are back you can see that we now have the lowest latency stretched resolution possible as both of these are matching which they don't do if you use the gpu scaling method which is completely fine but this is why this method has the lowest latency possible but yeah guys if you do want to go back to a native resolution you want to go back into your display settings and go back to your native resolution in the cru folder as well you want to click on reset all then finally in the nvidia control panel under adjust desktop size and position you want to make sure you've got full screen selected then under perform scaling you want to change it from display back to gpu and also don't forget to take override the scaling mode set by games and programs and that right there has been the ultimate stretch resolution guide that will get you an awesome looking stretch res if it helped out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use my code when buying the battle pass or while using the item shop and before you go feel free to check out any of my other tutorials on screen right now